Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. This is an update on the mosquito fans. We have had rain every day and a huge mosquito outbreak. I'm not sure if the county plans on spraying the ditches, but I kind of took care of it. In a previous video, I showed you this setup. You put a screen on the back of a good high-powered fan. A couple interesting things happen, which I'll show you at the end of this video. But you pretty much just spray it down with rubbing alcohol and that takes care of them. The reason you use rubbing alcohol, it dries out and then lizards and ants, whatever, they can take it without getting poisoned. You can see these rare earth magnets. They get rusty, but they still work. This, you just take rubbing alcohol and mix it like what, two to one with water. This is our dog Rocky. We rescued him a few years ago. He has the run of the yard if he wants, but he likes to just stay in there. I don't blame him actually. I've been in there before with the two fans. It's amazing. So he kind of acts as a mosquito attractant and he never gets bit. He never itches, nothing. It's very cool in there. Whenever there's a thunderstorm, he goes inside our house. He likes to just hang outside. This is his hangout. You good? Anyways, there's two fans. One, catching anything that comes in, and the other is over there. This is kind of cheating in terms of capturing mosquitoes, but if you have uh, pigeons or chickens or dogs that hang outside, pigs, whatever, put a fan on one side and the other with screens, and you will keep all of the mosquitoes off of them. Um, this fan I set out next to the ditch. The ditch is over there. If you set a fan out like this, you will randomly catch about two or 300 mosquitoes in a night. However, if you do something like place a bottle of seltzer water, I imagine dry ice would work good too. Everybody knows they're attracted to carbon dioxide when you exhale, but they're also attracted to CO2 from seltzer water. I like to use this because I don't mind drinking flat seltzer water, so I open the top up lightly let the CO2 seep out. It runs for about three or four hours and then you can drink the water. It doesn't taste great, but it's still good fresh water. Start to rust, but they still work. So this is a fan located next to the front door of our house. These fans can be, they're not supposed to be, the manufacturer will say don't do that, but we've had them out in the rain for running for two or three years and they hold up fine. After a while, if you live near an interstate and the, the stuff builds up, it'll actually eat right through the steel. So the screen, what the screen does, you have an induction motor right in the center and the screen traps any of that gump that would come from the air, pollen, car exhaust, pollution. When that gets inside, it clogs up the, um, the bearing in there, which is greased, and that'll shut the fans down right away. That'll destroy them. So the screen actually protects them from most of the stuff just collects right there or around. This is a new one, so it has a switch to it. The other one, sometimes as they get older, the switch might, if you leave them out in the rain like I do, which you're not supposed to do, the switch might. So you can see the ants, these are little black ants. They're already starting to rip these guys apart. So this is why we use 
rubbing alcohol because it evaporates and then these guys don't get poisoned by it and they can take care of all of your problems and the only thing they leave behind are mosquito legs <laughs> Some of the interesting things I've noticed over the years is that many creatures like frogs and lizards have overcome their fear of the fans and often enjoy an easy meal. Spiders and ants also pay the back of the fans a visit and have no problem escaping from the power of the incoming air. While using a bottle of seltzer water, rubbing alcohol, and a fan covered with screen will not cure the world's mosquito epidemic, it can make life less miserable. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.